Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What? Yeah, let's change that. What's up, YouTube? It's Hayes, and we are back in Gen 9, taking a look at one of the most potent new Pokemon added in the latest generation of Pokemon. Uh, we're looking at Fluttermane and its competitive viability, how to use it, and also why it got banned from the latest iteration of OU. So yeah, um, if you do enjoy, uh, please consider liking and subscribing the video, or liking and subscribing. Um, if this video hits 25 likes, um, I will do another one of these for another one of the amazing new Pokemon added this generation. And also consider helping us on our journey to 100 by the end of the year. Uh, so yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, uh, Fluttermane has the Ghost and Fairy typing. A very, very potent offensive typing for sure. Um, Ghost and Fairy, the combination is defined by those three immunities to normal fighting and dragon. Very, very nice, especially for an offensive behemoth like this one. Um, this can allow you to position it or get in situations that you can position uh, to just break. Um, it only has two weaknesses to Ghost and Steel. Um, this combination helps um, Fluttermane a lot by being a Ghost type not weak to Dark, um, a Fairy type not weak to Poison also. Um, however, uh, it only has one resistance, a four times resistance at that to Bug. So, uh, let's move on to the ability. So, Fluttermane and all of the, I believe, uh, all of the uh, Paradox Mons have Protosynthesis, uh, which means that when the Pokemon is in harsh sunlight or it's holding booster energy, a new item uh, introduced, um, its highest stat will be boosted. Uh, that is supposed to say highest stat will be boosted. I believe it is a 1.5 times boost. So with Fuller Remain, this has a variety of different uses. Um, and also gives it a good, like, very good presence on Sun Teams, as Protosynthesis is always active, rather than Boost Energy is a one-time activation. So, uh, next, we have the Notable Moves. Uh, so this thing gets a lot of very nice moves. Uh, so its stab options, we have Shadow Ball and Hex, Moonblast, and Dazzling Gleam. Um, both very strong options on the special side um, that allow it to do its job of being a solid special attacker as well. Uh, Hex gives it some good viability on like toxic spikes or like with burn spread. Um, toxic spikes especially I believe are going to be very very present in this generation. Um, alongside that it has some good uh, psychic type Options, Psy Shock to help with bulky poisons that might want to try to um, try to beat it. Um, Calm Mind obviously boosts its two of its most prolific uh, proliferant stats. Uh, I don't know if that's a word. I don't care. Uh, two of its highest stats uh, in special attack and special defense, um, and make it a very very threat very threatening mod indeed. Uh, and Stored Power, uh, which can help along with Calm Mind and gives it good, like, good sweet potential along with, uh, with, like, substitute sets. Uh, so, it's coverage options, it gets Mystical Fire for those pesky Steel types. Uh, Power Gem helps with, uh, like, Fire types and, uh, Flying types. Uh, Thunderbolt for Fat Waters, Energy Ball also for Fat Waters. Uh, so yeah. Um, let's go over some pairings uh, that I like. So first off we have Glamora. Uh, so what Glamora does very well, um, I mentioned earlier with Toxic Spikes. Glamora is very very good at setting up hazards and uh, being just a very solid suicide lead. So typically with Glamora you'll get up like T-Spikes, Spikes, Stealth Rocks, and maybe a big hit off on average. And what all those hazards do is help to become flutter, help Fluttermane to become absolutely insane. 
Um, I don't know if I touched on it earlier, uh, but Flare Main has bo uh, base 135, um, special attack, spadef, and speed. So this allows it to become utterly ruthless, um, especially with hazard stack, lessened, um, like, less mons have defog and rapid spin now, and more things get uh, hazards. So. I believe Glamora uh, really, really allows Flutter Main to shine. Um, so a more kind of offensive pairing would be Chen Pao. Uh, now Chen Pao is very, very potent right now. Um, I believe this is one of the like four best mons currently in the format. Um, Ice and Dark uh, also kind of pair really well with Flutter Main's Ghost and Fairy typing. Um, it allows it. Basically, um, both of them can kind of get checked by steals, however, um, both of these things really, really put pressure on steals. Um, and any amount of chip that they don't recover off allows one of them to go in. Additionally, um, Flutter Main beats the fightings that can give uh, Shin Pao trouble, and they just pair really nicely. That di dark fairy combination is also always very nice. Uh, lastly, we have Great Tusk. Um, one thing that Fluttermane uh, kind of struggles with, if you can even call it that, uh, is normal types. So fat normals, like especially the Chansey and Blissies of the world, um, are very much taken advantage of by a strong fighting type like Great Tusk. Uh, now, Gr Great Tusk is utterly insane. Um, any any fighting type can really help, but I think Great Tusk is amazing. Um, that base, uh, I believe, 131 attack stat and two amazing stab combinations with Headlong Rush and Close Combat, along with uh, good kind of like hazard clearing potential. Um, you don't really want to run boots with Flutter Main at all um, to allow it to not get chipped and keep it moderately healthy healthy for like revenge attempts and such. Um, and yeah, I believe uh, Great Tusk helps it a lot. Uh, so now, uh, we're gonna get into some kind of uh, base sets for, uh, for Flutter Main. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's do that real quick. So, uh, first off we have Specs. So, Specs just takes advantage of the utterly disgusting <laughs> Uh, power this thing has. Uh, look at those. Look at those base stats. Look at those base stats. Along with um, the coverage, can be whatever you want, whatever you want to hit. But generally speaking, um, this is one, just simply one of the fastest things in the format right now. Um, outside of Ubers, I believe it is. Uh, yeah, Iron Bundle, uh, Barracuda, and Dragapult really that are present that outspeed it. Um, and sh yeah, Champion ties it, but. It's whatever. Um, anyways, whatever is like whatever is taking these hits uh, definitely does not want to take this. Uh, base 135 boosted further by specs, um, and yeah, this thing uh, is a really really good revenge killer even without like a scarf. It doesn't really need it. It has such a high base speed. Same base speed as uh, Mega Lop, I believe, or one point slower. I don't remember. It's either it's that. Um, but you can basically tailor make it to hit whatever you want to hit. Like, say you have a team built around, uh, like, basically checking fat waters, then you probably don't need Thunderbolt, you can use something else, or along those lines. Um, but yeah, that's the spec sets. Next we have a Leftovers, oh I didn't even touch on the Terra type. Uh, Terra Ghost just allows you to hit a fucking nuke, that's about it. Uh, nuclear spec shadow balls. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, next, we have a leftovers calm mindset. Um, fairly simple. Uh, boost your spadef, boost your attack. Uh, Terra type is fighting to break through those normals. That's kind of what I touched on earlier about normals kind of being able to check it. Uh, you can relieve that problem fairly quickly with a set like this. Uh, you can also put taunt on a set like this. Um, if you want to stop like Chansey and allow yourself to set up uh, further. Um, yeah, uh, pretty simple, uh, pretty solid in general. Um, and then we just have Scarf, which 
Um, uh, outspeeds just about everything in the tier except for like Scarf. Um, yeah, like sc other uh, Scarfers that hit the same speed tier. I think Chin Pao hits the same. Uh, but then like Dragapult, uh, Iron Bundle are two that come to mind. That don't really want to run Scarf because they uh, lose to the that they might lose to the things that want to come in to check it. Um, I, I'd say this is probably one of the best uh, revenge killers um, in Pokemon history. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be dead ass. Um, again, you can really tailor make your coverage to whatever you want to hit. Um, you can uh, you can even just have niche options. Terra Normal uh, gives it. Um, an option to, I believe, beat uh, other ghost types like the no like the Dragapult we mentioned earlier. Um, if it's if it's Scarf, then it doesn't beat you anymore. Or if it's Dragon Dance, then it can't really hit you at all. Um, and that also just helps with like revenge attempts from ghost types, etc., etc. Fellow uh, also fellow Fluttermane too helps beat them one on one. Uh, this is a booster energy set, Calm Mind. Um, I believe you want to get the booster energy and speed, and you just generally break things with this set. You're gonna have all all of your big stats right here are gonna be <laughs> boosted, and you're just gonna hit incredibly hard. Um, this is one-time activation, um, so unless you're on like a Sun team, um, sun, sun with this works really well, but you're gonna want to be careful, play around this, and try to use this late game to sweep and pick up the win. Uh, lastly, we have another kind of boost energy set with sub and calm mind. Uh, store power also, um, you can set up boosts and break through just about everything. Um, Terra type is ghost, it can be, it can be normal if you want to do that, etc. You should be able to um, in the right circumstances be able to set up enough boost with this thing. Um, and it was banned from OU because of all of these traits. Really, really strong attacks and not many options to stop them. And the, these sets, like, these are all just fairly standard, like, like baseline sets and they just all do super well. Uh, so yeah, um, that's gonna do it for me. Um, that was about Fluttermane. Uh, this thing's broken. Um, I don't know how it's gonna do in Ubers, but it already got quick banned from OU. Uh, it's absolutely nuts. And yeah, so uh, again, if you want to see another one of these, uh, be sure to like the video. I really enjoy this, and I'm glad to be back for, uh, for more Gen 9 content. So yeah, um, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, see you guys later, and peace.